going to tie your swivel. Okay. So the knot you're making right now is a... I'll show you. It's, it's um, called Palomar knot. Okay. You go in. Dan is doing the Palomar knot. knot. Going this way. You go back out the same way you came in. Pinch it off. You're gonna twist it. Yeah. Side. You're gonna pull it. You know, open this up. You're gonna slide this through. Okay. And then you're gonna pull it, everything forward. You're gonna wet it. Be sure to wet it, folks. Mm. Right. Listen to the master. Pull that tight, this tight. Clip about the axis. a little bit like that. Okay. Now let me see what we got. That is the, the bombata. Yeah, this is the expensive one. I, I, I don't like Grand bombata. I used to put color beads, but I think I've been getting false strikes because they hit the beads. So I think there's a fish on so the what? This no, is the Lombarda. This is uh This how, is the Bombarda. These are beads. How many ounces or how many gram? Fifteen gram. Fifteen gram. That's what you want for the And then you get a um, chain swivel. Ten pound line. You get a clip to go onto it. Then you want clear beads. This thing right here is a clear barber stopper. And I just repeat it the same way here. And then the barrel swivel. Okay? Nice. I'm using 17 pound floral carbon in between. Floral carbon. Make mine separate from like a leader. And I want to give it a bumper like this with the. A little bit this line? Yeah, so it'll be like that. Nice. Okay, and this is going to be going from your main line. So what we just had with the swivel here, we're going to clip it on. Clip swivel. And then you put your your like leader. You just clip your leader, however long, five, six foot leader, with your hook. So five, six uh, feet of leader from here, or whatever amount. To... That's if you're going to do a Carolina rig type of setup where you're yes. substituting lead. Um, if you're going to just cast out a. a a spoon or a rooster tail spinner or something like that you could just clip that on to I would go about four feet a liter three to four feet liter and just throw it and retrieve mm -hmm. it throw it retrieve it and yeah, but you got to let it sink maybe count five seven seconds to let it sink seven, a little bit and reel in Re slow slowly. slow retrieval it just depends on what what you're throwing out with it how heavy it is mm -hmm. you know you got to guess how how deep it is you're throwing into so well, thank you, Dan, for the tip. This is, looks uh, wonderful. It's a nice setup. And also, he mentioned about the, you got to make sure you have the bead here to protect the tip of the fishing pole. And another thing, using the color bead on top like that is it kind of, if you can't see your line sometimes, you could probably spot the bead out there. So you kind of have an idea where your line is. That's smart. So you have color beads so you can identify where the line is. It's hard to see. There we go. Thank you, Dan. Cast and retrieve demonstration by Mr. Dan Wilson here. It's Just like a like tomahawk any... throw. I do like like a tomahawk throw. So I'm pulling down and I'm thrusting like that okay. and I try to let go about like right here mm -hmm. I'm gonna try for the duck ah, not quite. Um, mono doesn't cast as far as braid that's why I suggest braid over braid okay over. I'll switch to the braid
this is a lighter weight, 15 grams. I usually go 25 grams or more. 